households across America can rejoice. The Inflation Reduction Act has made inflation illegal in America. Unfortunately, that's not true. Not only are soaring prices still with us, but analysts say the Inflation Reduction Act will not have a meaningful impact on inflation. You and me both know politicians can be tricky. The Inflation Reduction Act is just a reworked version of Build Back Better under a different name. True, it's a smaller financial piece of legislation, but it has the same progressive theme, including climate change and expanding the social safety net. The only way the legislation reduces monetary inflation is by deficit reduction. However, the amount of deficit reduction we'll see is so small that it's effectively non-existent. The Penn Wharton budget model is a nonpartisan economic think tank that looks at the financial impact of public policy. In their analysis, we should see $264 billion in deficit reduction over the next 10 years from higher taxes and Medicare prescription drug savings mandated by the law. $264 billion. Sounds like a lot of money. Until you realize just how large budget deficits are projected to be over the next decade. Just before passage of the Inflation Reduction Act, the Congressional Budget Office said cumulative deficits through 2031 would total $12.1 trillion. That means, based on the current numbers, the new law will reduce cumulative deficits by a mere 2% over the next 10 years. If you're thinking that this won't reduce inflation very much, you're not the only one. Here's a disappointing assessment from the Penn Wharton budget model. The act would reduce annual inflation by around 0.1 percentage points in about five years. Once major deficit reducing provisions of the legislation are fully implemented, but the act would have no measurable impact on inflation after 2028. Mark Zandi, chief economist at Moody's Analytics, has been called Biden's favorite economist because of his historically positive reviews of the president's fiscal agenda. And even he can't find any way the Inflation Reduction Act will meaningfully impact inflation. According to Zandi's written analysis of the law, by the fourth quarter of 2031, the Consumer Price Inflation Index will be 0.33% lower because of the legislation. You may remember what a big deal it was when Democratic Senator Joe Manchin came out in support of the Inflation Reduction Act. Well, he recently admitted that the Inflation Reduction Act won't do anything to reduce soaring prices. Manchin was asked by a reporter if the Inflation Reduction Act was a misleading name because it won't do anything to reduce inflation. His response? Why would it? I don't know, Senator. Maybe because you and your fellow Democratic lawmakers called it the Inflation Reduction Act. Even Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen can't bring herself to say that the new law will have any impact on inflation. 
If you carefully read her two-paragraph official statement praising the new law, nowhere does she say it will reduce inflation. Let's point out some irony. Shortly after the Inflation Reduction Act was signed into law, Biden granted student debt forgiveness. Analysts say this could possibly wipe out any impact the Inflation Reduction Act has on inflation. And who knows what new spending policies are coming down the road. I've talked before about what I see as deceptive messaging coming out of party leadership in regards to the economy. In my opinion, the Inflation Reduction Act is more of the same. In fact, it may be the best example of why it is so important to question what our national leaders are telling us in regards to the state of the economy. That's why I suggest you take this opportunity to learn more about what's going on in the economy by attending our one-on-one -on -one educational web conference at AugustaPreciousMetals.com slash webconference. Hey guys, Joe Montana here with my man Devlin Steele. He and his team at Augusta Precious Metals are constantly putting out new information to keep you ahead of the game. Click subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. You'll be glad you did.